there's a big sway for people wanting to have provenance of where the food comes from and I think it's only going to get bigger. When my mum got married, her and my father bought a farm. They didn't really have that much knowledge of farming but they certainly learnt on the job. I met my husband, Alex, just before I got married. I actually started working on the farm for her. I just loved it, the outdoor life and working with animals and generally working with nature. And so when he left the Navy, we both took over the farm together when we got married. Everything was going really well. And then for me, everything sort of turned on its head. Alex was diagnosed with leukemia and he died in 2006. It was sort of like a double whammy. I mean, I lost my husband and also my working partner. I felt I was really dropped in the deep end. When you're a farmer, you've got to be a marketer, you've got to be the administration, you've got to do the accounting, you've got to do all these things that just pull you in so many different directions. And really, all you want to do is concentrate on growing the veg or concentrate on actually running your farm properly. As time went on and I sort of learnt to get the right people in for the right jobs, then things started to look up again, and that is really due to farm drop. So when I arrived, I know that Rowie told me previously the focus of her business had all been box scheme. The numbers were not really stacking up on the box scheme. She told me that she'd started supplying farm drop and that this was really good for her business because it was providing her with a really good market and it was giving her the confidence to be able to go out and employ somebody to do the work. If you've got somebody else out there finding the market for you, then that's the whole side of the work you haven't got to do. It allows us on the farm to concentrate on what we do well, producing more, doing it better, providing a better experience for the customer. Well, as you might have noticed, I've got a particular interest to chickens. They're, uh, well, they seem to like pecking me. I don't know whether that's love or hate. Some peck a bit harder than others. They certainly seem to be stress-free animals. This is them cleaning themselves. They're basically getting any uh, dirt or any bugs off of them that they don't want. I mean, in a supermarket, you can be anything up to two weeks before you get the eggs. Here, you probably get them the same day, if not next day. They're very fresh. You get a nice, vibrant egg yolk on there. You get a nice, deep, rich, yellowy-orange egg yolk. It's a lot of support we get from Farm Drop. In my opinion, it is now what I'd call a foundation or a fundamental part of the farm. And that has a knock-on effect to basically how the whole farm runs. Without their support, I don't think we'd be in the same place now. Being able to invest in more equipment so we can house more chickens and carry on farming as we do. Everyone would perhaps love to be able to go down to their local farmer's market, but it's not practical. So shopping online in this way is almost like bringing the farmer's market to a modern level. It's brilliant. I mean, I think Farm Drop's ethos and the whole way that they do business is just perfect for the farmer. They seem to be looking at the farmer rather than looking at them as a business that's just out to make money. They've got to look after the farmers to make it work. That's what the customer is buying into as well. It gives us the ability to farm how we want to farm and get a good price for it. It's definitely allowed me to breathe more easily.